Barista, show Sunny. Did you read uh, those? Uh, this thing I forwarded to you. Show Sunny supports. Uh, yes, talked, supports uh, Kamala Harris, and you saw you saw what he talked about. He spoke about Kamala Harris. Um, is he right? Is he right? What you you the issue? You know how things um, happen. For those of you, okay, let me read it. Um, let me read it for those of you who have not. Um, uh, for our viewers, for the purpose of our viewers, for the sake of our viewers, rather. Um, he said, this is, uh, he said, Kamala Harris is the best presidential material who can protect and preserve America's democracy and the country's obligations and responsibilities to the international community. But Trump has a clear and practical solution to ending the the, the, what well, this is this is crazy now the second part of it is he is absolutely right he was right absolutely the first part of it is where i have a problem barista can you talk about that is yes, she right you let me start by asking a question say usani is a muslim yes islam forbids abortion correct islam forbids homosexuality correct Islam forbids bestiality mm -hmm. and all these things. These are all the things that Kamala Harris represents. Correct. God bless you. So why would he be supporting Kamala Harris? <laughs> now, there is a wider angle to this. Even the Muslims in America support the Democratic Party. Yes. There's a reason why they do that. You see, you are talking about specific issues of abortion, of uh, homosexuality. They look at them as issues, but they, they are looking at a greater picture of immigration. We discussed the strength of America before, and I told you that the whole world has come to realize that America could only be defeated from within. Yes, I agree with no you. No military force can defeat America militarily. But America is like clay feet from within. And they realize that the only way to affect politics in America, the only way to ultimately defeat America is through immigration to the U.S., mass immigration from uh, Muslim countries in the Middle East. And the party that allows this, the party that promotes this is the Democratic Party. So you will now see the intelligence behind the support of the Democratic Party, even though it harbors things that they do not agree with. But mass immigration from Muslim countries into the U.S. is allowed by Democratic Party, by Kamala Harris. So they are looking at a greater or a bigger picture. You are thinking of, oh, homosexuality, uh, this one. Uh, they are thinking of something bigger. It has nothing to do with protection of American democracy. As a matter of fact, when you talk of the liberal class in the US, these are people who talk of freedom without responsibility. Correct. And that is not how the US was built. Yeah. The US from the foundations coupled both freedom and responsibility together. The Democratic Party and the liberal establishment in the US want to decouple freedom from responsibility, freedom to have sex, but refusing to take the responsibility from the product of the sex. That is of sex. That is the point. And, uh, killing the, killing the, the, the unborn children, yeah. but the freedom to have the sex as you like, yeah, you but see? taking the responsibility for the consequences of the sex they don't want. So the, that level of freedom, there's no country that can survive or sustain its strength with that level of freedom. There must be responsibility, and there must be principle. They tell you that the, the, the Democrats and the liberal establishment in America has no principles. Yeah. Wherever the wind of um, uh, pools and this thing go, that's where their principle will suddenly go. So ultimately, they will not support the Republican Party or the Republican candidate. They will support the people who have no principles, who have no scruples, and who fit into their greater agenda.
Correct. That is the way I understand. I understand it. Hi, honestly, you've made a, you you just made a very very great and germane point. Yes, um, freedom without responsibility. You are you are free. You want to you want every you are free to have sex, but you're not free. You don't you you're not free to um to take responsibility of the 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 offshoot of the sex, the repercussion or the the result of the sex that you had. It's sort of. Um, so basically, liberals, they what they do, Democrats, what they do is they 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 want to eat their cake and have it. Um, you you can you you can you can play both ways. You cannot eat your cake and have it. This life, you just have to eat your cake, and uh, someone else will have it. Uh, that is they have the the extra one. That is just that is just the reality. Like you said, okay. Actually, my monologue when I did monologue on this uh, sunny um, show, sunny, show, I I actually pointed towards the end. I pointed. I said, look. That the only thing that makes sense to me from Show Sunny is because um, if you have everyone that I've been reading and watching and going well, just like you and I have been reading, and we will know you will see you read in between the lines. You will know you will be able to distinguish between what is what is white and what is black. It is a clear thing. Um, Kamala Harris and uh, George, uh, and uh, Donald Trump they are black and white. There is. There is no ambiguity here for those people who want to be fair, who want to be uh, um, credible and objective. There is no ambiguity. Obviously, Kamala Harris is black and, the, and, and is, is a black sheep here, while the, uh, uh, Donald Trump is a white sheep. So it's a clear thing. So I just thought, okay, what, what, why should, why could this man have, what could have made him to show Sunny to have to be supporting Kamala Harris? Just what you just noted is one thing. What came to mind? Um, uh, impulsively just hit me in my conscious uh, human con uh, um, uh, consciousness, and uh, I just realized that that is the only thing that will make sense. Uh, they want us to fall. He is probably um, actually doing that because he is part of the enemy within. Um, he believes in the enemy within, just like you said that uh, the destruction. They be, you you can't destroy the US. US is too powerful, too strong. To be de destroyed from the outside. So the way you destroy an enemy, not just you as any any strong man, anybody that is strong, the best way to destroy that person is from the inside. And that was what exactly happened during during uh, what's his name during Abacha regime. They they killed him from the inside. And so so that is just that is. I think uh, you are right. I think um um that is what makes sense to me. Why someone that is why someone who claims to be one a Muslim. Secondly. A human rights activist that you see the U.S. right now has abused all human everything that has to do with human rights. They are just these two or three and a half years of the of uh, Joe Biden. They've bastardized that stuff or whatever. They don't even follow due process anymore. The legal system they have they have circumvented the entire legal process legal system. They have abused all legal norms. They just because they want to bring down Donald Trump. They have done everything in the books that is against the law. Just to pull down them, so they even they themselves that are propagating uh, those things. They are not even and there for somebody like Sancho Sani, who is a human rights activist who believe in the law, rule of law, um, to come out and support everything that uh, Kamala Harris stands for is something that Show Sani does not stand for. Except this one we and, just mentioned. Uh, one, now. And one other point I didn't mention. A very prominent Islamic preacher back when Hillary Clinton was contesting with uh, with uh, Donald Trump in that election. Yes, and all the polls were saying that Hillary Clinton will win. The whole world, everybody just uh, uh, believed that she will win. Yes, a very prominent Islamic preacher preached here. I heard him myself, Sheikh Gumi, that all Muslims should support. Hillary Clinton, because according to Islam, whenever a woman rules a country, he signals the decline of that country. He met, he, he did that, uh, he preached. So you know where uh, they are coming from. But he, he was right. He, sorry to cut you short. Do you know even the Bible says so too? So even it's biblical what, too. Uh, uh, whatever. It is the understanding of the situation I'm trying to say. Yes. They believe if the woman, if a woman begins to rule America, that will signal the decline and the right. destruction of uh, of America. Yes.
Yes, you're right, honestly, because even Bible says so. I think the book of Isaiah, that um, a, a woman, um, that usually when I, I forgot, I'm trying to quote that now, I've forgotten that quotation, but it's it's actually stated in the book of Isaiah. That is, it is part of um, any con any country that is ruled by a woman is is a, uh, is a cause. Um, that is what I'm paraphrasing now. So, so anyway, that is just so unfortunate. But the second thing again, where the second um, opinion, uh, second uh, the, um, uh, part of Sunny, actually there was two. There were two two tweets. One was in support of. Um, uh, Kamala Harris, and the second one was about Bill Gates. He was he, he had a whole lot of uh, praises and commendation on Bill Gates and uh, what Bill Gates has been doing for in uh, in Africa and especially in Nigeria. Of course, Bill Gates, Nigeria is the highest. He, uh, Nigeria benefits um, uh, the, the is the highest uh, beneficiary of Bill Gates charity um, donations, uh, sort of. So, and uh, I read about this and I said. Again, where is this show Sandy coming from? For God's sake, what is he really, really reading um, about this Bill Gates? Everybody knows Bill Gates. That even in the US, they now know him. In fact, the conservatives are, have isolated him. They all know he's a clear thing. He's not even hiding it. For God's sake, Bill Gates is out to actually diminish the population of the world. He wants to. He he is ardently sponsoring for the killing of people or whatever. Even during all this uh, during this uh, pandemic time, this uh, COVID nineteen whatever. It was it was calculated. It was deliberate. Uh, they deliberately allowed people to die of this or whatever. And uh, it, that is why the U.S. recorded the highest. Eh? The highest, I think, apart uh, behind, is it behind China? Not even behind China. They recorded the highest in the world that actually lost the, the number of people that died uh, uh, from COVID-19, which is actually not true. Though most of them who died didn't die uh, uh, by uh, COVID-19. Um, they just labeled it as dying. But so th this one, all those things were were orchestrated by by Bill Gates, and he's just doing it and extending it to Africa right now. And Niger unfortunately, Nigeria is his own because Nigeria is the most populated black nation in the world. So um, he, that that is why he's the target. For God's sake, the medicine he donates, everything he does, including buying the uh, vast land in Africa to. To in Nigeria now to 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 make to uh to farm for a uh, sort of to for farming, uh, all everything are uh, are geared towards cynicism, are uh, geared towards um um ulterior motive, and that ulterior motive is actually to deplete procreation. That is just it. Go to, uh, in the U.S. now. The, 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 there is this study that just came out that uh, uh has. That uh, the there is a de de serious decline in the serious decline in procreation. That is one, and the serious decline in procreation is not about it's not that people don't want to procreate, but because um suddenly people people's reproductive organs started being affected. Uh, they are being affected just mysteriously, a sort of so the, it's, it's so so many people have become impotent or, 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 or they are impotent or or barren. Uh, for from the man and from the woman, barring to the woman and important um, to the man, a sort of. And these things are based on the foods we eat, the medications we take, or whatever. There are things that are added in all these things to actually diminish procreation, a sort of. And that is exactly what Bill Gates is doing in Nigeria. That is the uh, purpose of his, char all his charity globally. And now he's focusing on Nigeria massively because he sees potential for his evil, but the potential for his evil, evil uh, endeavor. Barista, what's your thought on this? Well, you are you are hundred percent right. Bill Gates and his group believe that the world cannot sustain the current population that it has, and uh, active steps should be taken to reduce. I mean, to curtail the population growth, and if possible reduce it. That is their central goal in one sentence. So all his activities around the world should be viewed in that light. During the COVID, a lot of things happened. Was it by coincidence? This happened all over the world. In Africa, Nigeria is the most populous country. Anything that Nigeria accepts by implication, the whole of Africa will go along 
And then Nigeria has the largest population in Africa. So if you have that agenda, where else will you invest to, uh, the greater part of your resources than mm -hmm. where the, the center of activity is, the epicenter of the problem is, which is Nigeria? And you know, Nigeria has an uncontrolled population growth. Yes. So it, it is very clear why Nigeria is uh, the, uh, the beneficiary of the largest percentage of aid that uh, the guests get combined larger than the rest of what Africa gets combined. So everybody should view biggest activities with the highest level of suspicion. So I do not understand why Chiu Shani of all people honestly should be clapping honestly for Bill Gates. We want him to come and establish industries in Nigeria that yeah, will give our people that employment. Is That's what we want. And you talk about uh, this uh, GMO. Remember the GMO is buying vast land in the north again to start uh, GMO farming, uh, genetically modified uh, um, um, uh, farming system, a sort of where the same thing they will now put apply this whole uh, thing through through our food again employment. to actually to actually uh, uh, diminish to procreation as These well. Industries and provide employment for our people. As well, to do um, a genetically modified food, yeah, which affects uh, procreation. procreation. Yeah, that's which it. everybody knows. So it is a sinister uh, objective that they are pursuing. The worst part is that it doesn't Clout only in uh, philanthropy. Correct. God bless you. It, the worst part is that it doesn't. It's not even only procreation. It even in the U.S. now, it's, there are a lot of large studies coming out, a broad studies coming out about it's affecting human health, not just procreation, for people to just diseases just coming up. People, all these uh, killer diseases are just increasing. Uh, diseases usually that uh, um, that you, those days we we know hypertension, diabetes, all those big big uh, diseases we are actually known with uh, with uh, elderly. Probably those days we, we I think we studied it in the biology. Where we're told that we're taught that uh, uh, hypertension, be, the the prone, the uh, be, be, for uh, the the age that that is prone to hypertension is from, you become prone to hypertension as from I think about fifty years you become prone to hypertension or even diabetes as well. But today, what do we have? We have children, children for God's sake between so one and down five. Coming with diabetes, and it, coming yeah, with diabetes hypertension. and hypertension for God's sake. What do you think is the cause? The cause for cause for all this uh, all these all these uh, sicknesses? Of course, it is all these GMO genetically modified and our drugs or whatever. They are just they are just injecting all these things into everything, our way of life, even what we eat and what we drink. It's exactly what is happening. That's why you see sickness is now so increased. Sometimes you just wonder. You ask, you read when you say they say you have they, they, they diagnose something. You read what are the reasons uh, for it? Just like Excuse me. Just like my 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 uh, elder brother who died some years ago, so many years ago, he died of liver cirrhosis. And what is the major cause of liver? What is the basic and major cause of liver cirrhosis? It is alcohol. My brother never never tested alcohol in his entire life. He never tested in his entire life. Yet it was where did the liver cirrhosis come from? And so that is the point. That's exactly what people are just, sicknesses are just happening based on, you read what is the cause of this sickness. You read it or whatever, you realize the person will tell you, ah, this thing, I have not been doing this thing all my life. Why should I, why, why, is, why do I have this sickness? Yes, because everything, now they are injecting everything through into our food, our drinks, everything we drink and eat. A sort of, that's exactly how all these sicknesses get into human bodies now. So they are not only, Bigate is not only sponsoring all these things for, for, for to 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 deplete uh, procreation, he's actually doing it to kill human beings. So for people to die early, out of, from, from sickness, just like what they did during COVID nineteen as well, they just killed. They, they used that COVID nineteen as a yeah as as a uh, they in fact they exploited that they, they initiated that. Of course, they started it and killed so many people. Now they want to continue doing it systematically. 
And so someone like Shehu Sani, I don't know, that man has, I, I used to respect him, but lately he has become, he has come up with a poor judgment, a sort of, I, I, this, uh, why we it's understandable that of Harris, uh, it's a for personal and evil intention, he knows what he's doing. What about, uh, what about this? What about this of, uh, this, uh, you, you cannot tell me that he knows about it because he mentioned it in the, in the tweet. He mentioned about uh, conspiracy theories or whatever, that people should disregard the conspiracy theories. What do you mean? This that man why is should, honestly. Why should people disregard the conspiracy uh, theory? Uh, it's entire me. Honestly. Is there any smoke without fire? But I don't mind. I, I am surprised. No smoke without fire. I, I am surprised that this man has has turned to to me my my thoughts right now that he has become a, has become daft to have thought that that conspiracy theory that what we call conspiracy theory it does not have does not have truth in it at least an iota of truth. They said there's no just like you said. Um, there's no smoke without fire, and he's just coming up with this gibberish, this junk, a sort of so sad, honestly. Marissa, thank you so very much, honestly. Thank you for this time spending with us, and uh, thank you for all your inputs, your analysis, your comments. Um, thank you for the areas where you educated us, and um, we appreciate your time. And um, viewers, this brings us to the end of the show. My name is Jibrin, and uh, I am the exclusive anchor of this show. Uh, on Oweleke TV, we've been having a very robust and insightful and educative uh, conversation with Barista Austin Manta, whom I respect so immensely. Uh, he is a very, very senior lawyer. Again, I respect his uh, legal um, um, uh, interpretation of the law. Uh, sorry, uh, yes. Um, so, um, Barista, once again, thank you so much. Thank you. All right, uh, viewers, see you again um, next week. And um, remain blessed. Bye.